Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to today's video. Today is Monday, a brand new week. And being a brand new week, I wanna share something brand new to me and to the channel and well to you guys. So I got an email from a guy from One of Nutrition basically a talent search or something like that. that's what it said on the email so i sent them over my my youtube channel my social medias and things about myself that i would like to uh do like i guess in the future and they went ahead and sponsored me and i guess this video and they went ahead and sent me these bcaa's uh glutamine and joint support guava nectarine flavor they sent me a pre-workout which is pretty intense because I, I see that in the back in the supplement facts that you actually have to take half a scoop and it's like 205 milligrams of caffeine and if you take a full scoop it's like a little bit over 410 so it's pretty so you get like 50 servings if you do the half scoop so it's not a bad deal you guys and also they went ahead and sent me a whey protein powder the chocolate and peanut butter blast they sent me some uh, protein bars and cookies and cream flavor. I chose those and they went ahead and sent me a whole bunch of Samples, so I'm pretty excited to try this brand out. I'm gonna be taking that right now because Today's push day. So with that being said you guys I'm pretty excited to try out the company and work with them for Hopefully a pretty long time and if you guys want to try any of these supplements out Well first I'm gonna do a review. I guess I'm gonna work out uh, I guess or review them later on th throughout this video uh, speak about it later on but if you guys are maybe already buying these supplements or if you guys are just curious already to buy them um, you guys can go ahead and use my code Adrian F I'll put it right here I'll put the company's link down in the description below for you guys to go and check them out they also have apparel and a whole bunch of other cool stuff so go ahead and check them out you guys you gonna do have a scoop because supposedly it's Pretty intense. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. I give it like a 8.5 out of 10 flavor. Uh, the aftertaste, well, yeah, it's it's good. It doesn't have a bad aftertaste. It tastes like mango. It tastes like literally like mango. It's good overall though. So that, now that I just drank my pre-workout, I'm gonna wait for it to kick in a little bit. But in the meantime, I'm gonna pop these babies in my official One Up Nutrition Cup. Guava Nectarine Flavor. I'm gonna take it once I'm at the gymnasium. Here we are. One scoop. One scoop, lad. One scoop, mate. Oh, and it, it tastes good. Oh my, the powder tastes good. Powder tastes good, bro. Okay, I'm getting a little bit itchy after like four or five minutes after taking the pre-workout. What happened? Let's go. Damn, my truck is so goddamn dirty. I don't know if you guys, well, those of you that do live around the area where I live in the South Texas region, you guys know that it rained like hell the past couple days because of, you know what, some tropical storm or whatever, so. I need to wash my damn truck. Let's go, bro. 
Light work, light work. How many pounds have you lost, bro? 110. 110 pounds. He's wearing a sweater, it doesn't do justice, but. So currently eating four ounces of 96.4 ground turkey, eating half a cup of uh, white rice and a serving of onion, uh, some corn and some sliced tomatoes here and there. But yeah, so four ounces of ground turkey, 96.4, uh, half a cup of white rice and some veggies to sprinkle it on top. So this is a post-workout meal of the day. Drinking it down with some water. Well, starting off with this, uh, actually working on some edits right now. Also watching the, uh, finished watching the Texans and the Saints, man. What a wild game, what a crazy game. Drew Brees is just clutch, man. And props to Will Lutz for kicking that. I think, what was it, 57, 58 yard field goal? Man. That's, that's that's crazy right there. That's that's good football. And actually, um, right now I'm also right now the game just started. The Raiders and Broncos finished setting up some accounts that I have to do uh, with some partners, and also uh, editing my this current video. I also want to talk about the pre-workout I took earlier today. Um, like I said, I give it like an 8.5 flavor-wise, but performance-wise, guys, it's really really good. Um, the whole workout, I had a lot of energy. I had, I was pumped. I was just focused on my workout. Um, even right now, I just have energy, you know. But I'm not jittery or I'm not anything like that. But um, really good uh, pre-workout supplement, in my opinion. I recommend it to you guys if you guys want to try something new. Uh, go ahead and try it. The amino acids, though, um, I tried. I was drinking those throughout the workout. And I don't know if it's because I didn't wash the cup after I drank the pre, it was the same cup. So like I just mixed in the aminos in there and water. So I don't know if that took away a little bit from the flavor. But other than that, if you guys like guava a lot, um, just know that it's a 10 out of 10 flavor wise. But um, there was a little bit of like other flavors going on there. I guess because of, like I said, I didn't wash the cup. But other than that, it was it's really good as well. Like if it, it's, it's really good. And right now, I'm about to try the protein bar, uh, one of nutrition, the cookies and cream. Uh, right now, my macros are at 54 protein, uh, 96 carb, and 6 fat. So once I eat this, this is uh, 250 calories. So once I input this, this moves my macros to 76 protein, 125 carb, and 12 fat. And the macros on this particular protein bar are... 7 fat, 29 carb, and 22 protein. Honestly, this is probably something I would eat before the gym, but I'm gonna do it right now. So let's do a little taste test. It does taste like cookies and cream. Wow, it does taste like cookies and cream. Super good, you guys. Doesn't even taste like a protein bar. You know how that protein bar gives you that like aftertaste or whatever, or has that specific taste? I hate it. This does not have it. it tastes amazing. Wow, it's a good size too. 
I mean, it was like half of that already, but it's a good size. It's really good. Probably recommend just eating it before the gym, if I can Can I finish editing this video? See you guys tomorrow. So we just got here to the park. Uh, we're actually gonna play some Ultimate Frisbee. Let me show you guys a little bit what they're all about. You guys ready? <laughs> gonna be the pre-workout meal of the morning. Um, I just drank my pre-workout um, today's leg day at the gym. Let me get ojitos, ojitos. <laughs> ah, let's go. research online and some studies show that actually you're only supposed to stop right where it's parallel so even even parallel even stopping a little bit before that is perfectly fine once you go beyond lower than than, than once you go lower than parallel you tend to you might develop pelvic tilt and that might be one of the reasons why a lot of us well me that is experiencing lower back pain why because rather than going parallel I'm going a little bit lower and I tend to do that. So from now on, I'm gonna try to train my mind, train my body, my, I guess like my, my, my squatting mechanic, my, my squatting form. I'm gonna try to change that up. Try to stop parallel, or maybe a little bit even before. So if you guys start judging me, don't judge me because I'm trying to like get better in that way. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm gonna, so that was my first warm up set. I'm gonna jump up to 225. Maybe I'd even stay there for like four to 10 reps. Four, four sets of 10 or four sets of 12. Let's see how I feel today. I gotta go pick up my little boy from school. So, regardless, we got uh, some good squat work in. My hamstrings are gone, so I guess that's a positive out of this workout. That um, I'm only emphasizing on my hamstrings for this next couple weeks because I feel like it's a part that I really lack in my body or in my legs, to be honest. But overall, a really good workout. But yeah, it was good. Lunchbox. Let me see it. Oh, wow, what is it? It's Spider Man. It's Spider Man. You gonna eat your snacks? I know. You're not gonna eat them? No. Oh, okay. Brittany's eating hers. Look. For some reason, I need to park me a toy. 
<laughs> How am I gonna eat that? I can't eat plastic. <laughs> Now that I'm home, I'm about to eat my second meal of the day, just some shrimp tacos. Let me show you guys how I like to prep them real quick. So. Right here, what I basically do is um, I got about 37 grams of avocado. So I just like squish it in here. I separate it into my tacos. So evenly disperse it, I guess. And then I get some chopped onions and some chopped tomatoes. I got 4.5 ounces of shrimp and half a cup of white rice. So I just throw that in there. No. <gasps> after that, after it's all been mixed up, just go ahead and sprinkle it on there. Once you're done mixing up your whole tacos, however it is you want them, you're probably going to get left with like maybe uh, one third of the bowl. So I usually just leave it like that and then mix it in there and sprinkle some hot sauce if you guys want to add some spice to your tacos. It's zero calories. So. I'm going to focus on there. Zero calorie. So if you guys want to... Just add a little bit of some zing into it. Like, I, mean, I like doing it. And you guys are good to go. After eating that meal, you guys, um, and my pre-workout meal, and now this post-workout meal, um, here are my macros for the day. 71 protein, 125 carb, and 25 fat for the day. My fiber, it's at 30 grams, so... My sugar's low. Probably put some fruit in my my my, uh, my protein that I drink later on tonight. So, can you use the almond breeze almond blend coconut? So it's about 40 calories. I'm gonna do one cup of that, and I put a whole banana in there and to top it all off. To finish off the protein shake, gonna add the official one up. Peanut butter chocolate blast. It has two grams of fat, two grams of fat, five carb, and 25 grams of protons. You guys are gonna get a live review on this shake. I'll give you guys my honest opinion. Wow. Wow. That's a 10 out of 10. And I'm not even exaggerating. I'm not saying this because I'm sponsored by it or whatever. Guys, I promise you, you guys will not be disappointed. If you guys love peanut butter and chocolate the way I do, man, this is a 10 out of 10. And I'm not even joking, bro. I'm not. And what makes it taste even better, guys? You already know the vibes. You already know. All right, guys. So I'm gonna end the video here. I appreciate you guys a ton. You guys know that, and I'll see you guys in the next video.